So I'm just waking up this morning and I hopped on X. I actually seen a post from Sub to Optimus, which is probably one of my favorite creators right now. He actually found something pretty interesting in regards to the B2988 situation that we've been talking about. Now, you remember yesterday when I posted that video in regards to him, how he was basically turning himself into the victim while also leveraging his cancer to justify doing this whole crypto scam. Now, if you take a look right here on the Optimus actual prof well, profile, on X profile, you can see right here, right here is six hours ago. Boogie 298 just deleted a day's worth of incriminating tweets regarding his fatty token scandal. Luckily, I archived everything over that time period for my upcoming video. Since he's trying to hide what he did, I figured I'd drop the full thread of screenshots and videos. So if you hop through here, we're going to just take a quick look. There's a lot. There's a lot. I mean, it goes on forever. And it's got pretty much all of these tweets, all these videos, um, all of his replies. Let's see how far down this goes. I'm sure it's going to take forever to get down. All right. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, looks like it ends. Yeah. There's quite a fucking bit. Holy shit, dude. How? 24 and more counting? So, I thought... I thought, I was like, why would he delete his uh, tweets if he was so um, standing his ground on this? Because if you remember, he said he wants to keep on doing this. He wants to build a community, and he wants to give the millionaire some new toy to play with. The fact is, you already got paid, one. I don't know if you're going to get paid again. I don't know what kind of money you're going to get from this. But one of the things, like I said, he was justifying was his cancer treatment was going to get help with this funding from his crypto scan. Now, it's 2024, and we already talked about this. Anybody in their right mind would look at this and be like, hey, Logan Paul did this, all these big influencers did this, Kim Kardashian did this, they pump and dump, and you're doing a pump and dump, but you're trying to justify it by leveraging your cancer. Not only that, you're ruining every bit of reputation that you have left for a couple dollars. Which sucks. But let's go ahead and take a look just to make sure, just to make sure that's true. So if you hop on Boogie's profile here, you scroll down, you have where he was talking to Coffee Break YT. But after there's like two posts here, and then the la latest post after that is June 26, which was four days ago. That's basically probably when all that shit started, honestly. Maybe before that. That's like maybe a few days ago. I forget. My time, I time sucks for me. But he already talked to people like CoffeeZilla, Mudahar called him out, even Moist Critical called him out. There's a lot of people that called him out. All these fans, all, I think even Keemstar maybe done that. Um, I could be wrong. I see the video where he was like, why would somebody fall for that in 2024? Which he's absolutely right. But Boogie keeps on saying nobody got hurt from the scam. Negating the fact that people actually bought knowingly this is a scam. A pop and dump scam where a lot of shitty creators use their audience, especially loyal audience members, to buy into the shit. Remember the CS, uh, what was it, the Counter Strike gun skins back in the day where they were basically promoting gambling and the dude fucking owned the company? That was shady. Logan Paul did the dink doink thing. That was shady. That was a pump and dump. And you're doing the same fucking thing. And the only difference is you're not that popular anymore. People think you're a piece of shit. And you deleting your tweets after you saying you're standing your ground, that makes you look like an even bigger piece of shit. So what you're doing here is a lot of people's like, hey, you're using your cancer leverage. You're using the fact that you're broke to try to take advantage of people that follow you. And again, I said yesterday, I say, hey, you're an influencer. What's that mean? You influence people. Just because you think nobody got hurt from it does not negate the fact that you did it and that could have happened. And actually, people did buy into it. Even if they was crypto bros, they knowingly went in and bought into this. Maybe it was because you influenced them to do this. Now, don't go and turn this around on everybody else and blame everybody else like you always do. Because that's what you're really good at. And it's disgusting. It's really disgusting. That's a narcissistic behavior. I know this. I see a lot of narcissists in my life. A lot. And you are one of them. Like a big one. Like not even like 
big. I'm talking about gigantic. Like, you ever seen the Eternals? You remember that big fucking giant that has his hand sucked in the middle of the planet that nobody talked about ever again after that last movie? That's fucking you. That's you. You're just there. People see you. But people are starting to ignore you, just like Marvel did with the Eternals. You're doing this to yourself. You're doing this to yourself. And you enjoy it because any attention for Boogie 298 is good attention because that's what he craves. He not only goes in and does these things because he knows it's going to strike some kind of controversy. Even if he took a look back in his days, he's done a lot of these shit. If he actually hopped on YouTube or Kick or whatever, you can see a lot of fucking jackoffs that do the same thing. But somehow he thinks he's different because he still thinks he's somehow the Mr. Rogers of the internet. In fact, he's not Mr. Rogers. He's like Gene Simmons. Crippled Gene Simmons. Fat, crippled Gene Simmons. Fat, crippled, diabetic Gene Simmons. <laughs> you know, actually, Gene Simmons probably has more integrity than Boogie, which, fuck you. <laughs> that's probably a bad comparison. Who, who could we really do it through? Like, Job of the Hud, that's too easy. Rosie O'Donnell, that's really easy. Uh, Casey Anthony. That's a piece of shit. Maybe. Maybe you didn't kill a baby. You said you'd probably eat a baby, but you didn't kill one. But people don't like her, and you're doing the same thing. The only thing I, the only thing left I can think for you to do to get some kind of rev, rev, relevance is maybe participate in some kind of Pornhub thing. You know, do your sex tape. That way some people will watch it. Because, you know, if there's porn of it, people are going to watch it. Everybody wants to see somebody fuck. And that's probably what you're going to have to do at this point to pay for your cancer treatments. Dude, what the fuck are you thinking? Like, I don't I don't understand. Like I said, you were standing your ground yesterday saying, you're sticking with this. There's not anything that's going to move you. And when people finally called you out, they kept on pushing, kept on pushing. You decided it was time to dip. You got the attention you needed. You probably got the extra followers, extra tweets, maybe a, bit, a little bit extra money. You got what you wanted. Now you just damage your fucking reputation even worse. There's no fixing this. There's no fixing this. You've already embraced the low-cal persona. So keep on doing your shit. Keep on doing bad things. The next time I probably expect you to actually go to a nursery and eat a literal baby. Then when people call you out, you're just like, oh, I was doing it for stem cells and to fix my cancer. I ate that baby's head because cancer. Fuck you, buddy.